making maintenance today, it's a base sauce for so many things. But it's always good to be able to make it, even if you don't, and make other sauces with it. But here's the recipe. A couple of eggs, some salt, some mustard. Now the mustard is a very French addition to mayonnaise. Not all people use mustard. A little cayenne pepper, a little sugar, lemon, and oil. In the Spanish version, you wouldn't use any mustard, and you'd probably use an olive oil. In this version, it's more of a French version, and I'm going to use just a standard oil, but you can use whatever you want. And if you're allergic, you can use something else. I'm going to start with the eggs. First, we need some egg yolks. So I'm going to break the eggs here and take the yolks. Now the yolks are very important because these are what help emulsify the mayonnaise. Yolks contain lecithin, which is an emulsifier. Now, I'm using three egg yolks for this. These are at room temperature. In fact, everything here is at room temperature. That makes it much easier to make mayonnaise. I'm going to add to this a little bit of Dijon mustard. Just a little spoon. Not too much. I don't want it to be a mustard sauce. I just wanted to spice up the mayonnaise. And also, mustard has, works as a emulsifier as well. So now we're going to start to stir this, just to break it up. And we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt, a touch of cayenne pepper, Of course, you can add as much as you like, you know. The most important thing about cooking is to get to the flavor that you so enjoy. At this point in time, I'm going to put a touch of this confectioner's sugar. Just a touch. That's because I like my mayonnaise a little bit sweet, but nothing crazy. So just a little bit. The confectioner's sugar is good because it's it melts quickly. Now, I'm going to start adding a little oil, slowly, as I whip it into the, the mixture. Now, the key to making this is that you'll see the oil coming in, and if the oil starts to, if you start to see streaks of oil, then stop pouring it until it's still fully emulsified. Emulsification means that it's kind of smooth, you know? You, you're not seeing a little puddle of oil here and there. So it's important just to keep on adding a little bit here. And if you feel that you see these little puddles on the side and it's beginning to separate a little bit, well then you would stop, like I'm doing now and add a little more as it, as it emulsifies. Otherwise, what's going to happen is that it's going to break. Can you see this here? The, may the mayonnaise is getting nice and thick now. And it becomes kind of... It starts to get very smooth and velvety and when you make mayonnaise by yourself it's unlike mayonnaise that you buy you know it's it's very thick I'm going to continue adding a little oil as it starts getting thicker the emulsification is only going to be able to hold so much oil but it, this is something you see here. So now it's getting nice and thick. 
very, very thick. There we go. Looking very nice. And now, what I'm going to do now, that it's very thick. As you can tell, look how thick this is. Look, it's staying in the whisk. It's dropping a little bit, but it's staying in the whisk. Now I'm going to add some acid to this, which is the lemon. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon into it. This acidity is what gives it a nice flavor. Let's see. Now that's been whisked in a lot. It's nice and smooth. I can even smell the mayonnaise. It smells fantastic. You see this? It's a little runnier because of the acid. And that, you know, lemon has some liquid or water in it. So, therefore, it's a little runnier. That's why you want to get it so thick in the beginning. So the mayonnaise is now finished. Let me see. Mm. Delicious. Of course, you can flavor it any way you like. From here, this is the base sauce to so many other mayonnaise sauces that this is just one building block in a slew of sauces. Now, the best thing to do when you make your own mayonnaise, of course, is to put it in the refrigerator. See you next time. Thank you.